Kids are very interested in the rabbits. They are like not not get any on the rabbit. Boxes are Peter is finishing the boxes. Look. That's what he's doing. But my time, but my time. Alright, I'm gonna do a little bit of dishes. Okay. Do you know this? No, bye-bye. These are shit. They're no good. But there's these bowls that have like a pop bottle on it. Good morning, Nate. There's these bottles that have like these, a pop bottle on it. And I have no idea what they're called. I'm trying to find them and I'm getting a whole bunch of weird stuff, man. What? Okay, what are you doing on the end? So the kids are, yeah, they're looking at the rabbits. They're very, very interested in them. I am eating the Ugh. rabbits. You're eating the rabbits right now? I'm feeding. Feeding? Yeah, so I have no idea. These these are no good. No good. Not, not whatsoever. But I don't know the name of the, it's like a dish that you put a pop bottle on it. And then it dispenses it automatically. I can't for the life of me find the name of it. But anyway, I'm just gonna do the dishes. What are you guys doing this morning? What's what's your weather like, Nate? Because here it is. I mean, it's um. There's still lots of snow, but you can see it's melting on the. So we're like in puddles right now. Bon matin, bon matin. And it was raining, like lots of rain. So I don't know. Still do straight smoothies. Very cool. Rainy. Good. Spring, eh? Spring is coming up. Yay! It's gonna be good to be able to have water again. Oh my god. It's 1 a.m. Oh my god. You see what she's a fall rapid man? Great. 10 in PEI. Yeah, it's really warm today. Ici neige. Garde ça chez vous. Okay. Je vais juste faire la vaisselle. Okay, water is life. Yes, it sure is. But yeah, I'm I'm excited to get the truck back to the river so that. So that I can do the, I can do the laundry. YouTube pop bottle. Okay. Pop bottle water dispenser and you'll see a whole bunch of options. Okay. What's the plan for today? So um Peter's finishing the boxes. For the rabbits. For the rabbits. I'm gonna show you the rabbits. They're not like this bottle is on it a uh, bottle. This bin it's on its side, so it's not the finished product. And I, I don't have feeding dishes and I don't have watering dishes. So it's just kind of in between. Hey. How you doing, baby? And then there's this one. And then my two females. Stop, Sullivan. She wants to eat. She's going to eat. So I got two females, New Zealand whites and Californians, and then this is the male. They all look the same. Yeah, yeah. Except one has, has, dark, has the whiter ears. Except one has... So the females can still be in the same box for another month or so, and then uh, we have three boxes, or we can make more. And we'll be able to start breeding them um, May for the older female and 
yeah, May for the older female and June for the younger one. What's their names? I don't, I don't name them. The kids can name them whatever they want. Ryan Ryan. They don't look like meat rabbits. Ah, uh, well, they're Californians and New Zealand whites, and so those are, those are meat. To eat or walk free them. Yep, eat them. What do you do with all the rabbits after they are born? Grow them and then later eat them. I know it's not a everybody's cup of tea. But. Oh well. Yeah, New Zealand whites and um, Californians are a great source of meat. Two and a half pounds of feed is one pound of muscle mass. Rabbit pie. So good. Rabbit pie? Rabbit pie. Rabbit noodle soup. Whatever. And Max. Max was very excited. Um, Oliver's hair is all gone. Everybody's hair is all gone except for mine. Um, yeah, they all wanted their hair buzzed. Have rabbits, have rabbits not for eat. Do I have rabbits not for eat? But then you have them not for eat. We have them for eat. Any lessons coming up from your canonic state? Yeah. Yeah, tons. Uh, but mostly that... Um... Like, I was there the whole time, right? I was fully aware the whole time. Um, and, like, they were... I was naked, and, you know, they were flipping me around. And I was in such a beautiful state of acceptance that there was, like, there was no embarrassment, no, no feelings. And it was so peaceful. It was super peaceful. You feed them and then they then eat them. I can. Okay. Do whatever you want. Lydian doesn't want to grow her hair out. Nope. Lydian, you want to? Why don't you want to grow your hair out? is too much of a bother. Yeah, too much bother. She wants to be a mom, but just a kid. So moms can have short hair too, though. It has nothing to do with hair. I shaved my hair off after, after I had Solomon. I was tired of him pulling my hair when he was on my back. I love your videos. Thank you. Like, I, don't, I don't know that what does rabbit taste like? Yeah. Salty? Tough? Yeah. You, you made a rabbit noodle? You can, you can use rabbit in any kind of uh, chicken recipe. It's a, it's a white white kind of meat. Uh, but it depends what you feed them, right? So if they if they eat a lot of barks, they're going to be... They're going to have a, 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 white, a white more like a... The book has a white rabbit. A stronger taste, I guess. Oops, sorry. Tell my husband I'm going to shave my head because my son pulls my hair all the time. Yeah, that's what I did. Solomon was a year old and I was like, I'm not I'm not doing this anymore. How's the weather? It's pretty good. But, but oh, it's, it's melting. What are you doing? The snow is melting. Oh. I like my baby. There's so many little bones. Yeah. Like, like a million little balls. That's okay. People are curious. Everybody makes their own decisions. And you can feel however you want about however you want. It doesn't change that I do what I feel. Your hair grew that much in a few years? Well, Solomon's six, so it's five years. This is five years. But I cut it a couple of times. Now it's like... Hey, 
Oh yeah. So it's been kind of a weird quite a couple 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 days since coming back. Um, I'm just trying to keep it keep it cool. You're living off the grid. Yeah. You're so beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Get down your jacket. You want to go outside? I'm raising chickens. Who schools your kids? The oldest one is six. The other ones are not supposed to be in school. Life. And life has been. Would you like to live your, in your land to get started? What you guys have? No. We are going to build up something for people to come in at some point. But I'm not going to let somebody come here and do whatever they want. They're going to come here if they come here. But it's not like, it's, it's probably going to be for people that are wanting um, a break from life, not like a permanent. Because if they want it permanent, then it's... It would have to be a very, very specific kind of person. Yeah, but Because, like, we don't drink, we don't... We're not social, we're not loud, like. So it, it would have to be people that just want to like live simply and, and be of service to the community. Because what we're doing here is, yeah, we're growing our gardens and whatever, but my plan is uh, that the food the food that we grow eventually becomes affordable food for the community to buy. Um, because there is local food here, but it's online. And last time I looked at it, there was a squash, a butternut squash, one squash. It was $18. Who? What? So. Obviously, obviously, not everybody can afford that. I can't afford that. That's crazy. Where are you from? I'm from Quebec. We are in Cape Breton. How old are your kids? Solomon is six. Vivian is four. And Oliver is coming up on two. Why did you shave their heads? Because they wanted their heads shaved. Do they all like their heads shaved? They asked for it. What does off grid mean? It means that we are not on um, municipal electricity or or water or anything like that. Where'd you get your bracelet? This is a it's a mala. It's the same same kind of um, concept, I guess, as prayer beads or a rosary or something like that. This is a rosewood mala. Uh, no, not rosewood. Sandalwood. From somebody in India made it and I bought it from them and then we shipped it. Do they socialize with other kids? Um, during the winter, it's a little bit more difficult, but in the summer, yes. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Cool. Is that a what? A zinsir? I don't know what that is. Tepsi? I don't know what that means. Are you coming in? Are you just screaming? Squeaking? I'm gonna do the dishes. Do you make your own music or listen to music? Yeah, we listen to music. Just Spotify. We don't. We're not very musically inclined people. Bon matin, Montréal. Ça va bien? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Okay. I'm stop that. I'm from Grace Bay. Cool. Good morning, Saturn, Saskatchewan. 
the morning. Okay, I'm just gonna do the dishes. There's not much, so. Hello from Charleston, what, South Carolina. Oh my God. You have a, you have a wonderful day. What's the temperature? Um, I don't know if the equivalent in Fahrenheit, but it is, it's around five Celsius. I don't know what that is. I have never been out of Canada. No, I have been in New York once for a weekend. Hey, from nothing, the void. I charge my phone with uh, this thing. It's a little solar thing. Okay. Can we make a muffins? Muffins, not yet. Maybe later. Not right now. Why not? Because I'm not doing that right now. I'm doing the dishes right now, baby. Hello, hello. Did you fall down? I saw you. to transfer two of them, transfer the girls into their new house. Their new house. You okay to be? Oh boy. It's just chaos. It's just chaos this morning. How are you feeling? Feeling good. My gut is still not right. I've got. So after Lillian's birth, I had like a lump here I had a lump and it never went away but it didn't hurt so I was like eh. um, and then it started hurting a couple of weeks ago so before I went unconscious I told Peter I told Peter something's wrong with my gut I, we gotta go to the hospital and then I went and he tried to tell them, but as soon as they regain consciousness, they're like, Oh, everything's good with you. Get out of here. Oh, what do you want, my baby? Oh. So What's that? Well, what did he yeah. give you? Story. Better. How do you keep a positive attitude during the first three months of pregnancy? Um, what do you want, baby? No. You let out all the little. What? Three months of pregnancy, they're, they're pretty tough sometimes. Hmm. Just do what you love. I don't know. How do you tell? How do you tell somebody that to just do what they do what you love doing? It's not that simple, but it is. But that doesn't help. That's not gonna get you anywhere. Why aren't they at school? My oldest one is six. He would he's supposed to be in kindergarten, and kindergarten is not mandatory. Are they building the house right now? You know, you can ask me directly. So I'm right here. But yes, we are building the house right now. But we have to live as well. So we're building it, and we're living in it. Are you worried the kids won't be well socialized? No, they have friends. What's your business, uh, your biggest obstacle? No running water, hmm. Okay, what has been your biggest obstacle other than no running water? No running water. Where's the handle? I don't know. Honestly, I don't 
Honestly, I'm not sure. The handle's still on the ground. I broke my pot. That's okay. It's a water pot. It's hot, eh? Ooh. Your appendix. No, it's not appendix because it's, um, they did, they did all the blood work and there was nothing. But I'm thinking because it's been there for a few years, if there would have been something in the beginning, then my white blood cells would have been up and then it be just became a thing in my abdomen and white blood cells would have went down after that. Do they homeschool? The oldest one is supposed to be in kindergarten, so. Oh, yeah. What time are you guys up in the morning? Around six. Really? Yep. That's the problem. No flush. Likely a hernia. Oh, maybe. That's the problem. No flush. Shoo. Tell her a million times a day. Why would you do that? Shoo. Oh, yeah, I love that he walks through and just kicks the shoe. Mm. Yeah, I know. Where's your husband? Well, we're not married, but there he is. Hi, Peter. He's making the rabbit box. Finishing it up. Me, me, so that, our me, rabbit. Me, 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 me. Our new rabbit. See, these boxes are unfinished. And there's one here, and there's two there. And, um... So now we have to finish the boxes because we got rabbits. Got so that's what we're doing today. Do they have toys? Yeah, they have um, they have Legos and Connects and stuff, but they don't pick them up, so I don't put I don't bring them down very often. Your skin is flawless. Mom, can I, can I know. Have the Legos? It's because I trust my body to do everything that it's generator do they like coloring yeah sure do you have furniture to sit on no we have um we have chairs nothing's comfy in here nothing's comfy in here rock and chair but nope legos yes i'll get your legos down Can we have a tour? Sure, I'll do. I'll do a tour. Are you in Canada? Yes, I'm in Cape Breton. What do you think is the absolute best natural super herb supplement? Um, look into ad adaptogens because those are pretty awesome. Are you still microdosing? Yes. Okay. Does your Does your husband work? Yes, but there's a working season here. I know people don't believe me when I say there's a working season, but it's true. We are in northern Cape Breton, the closest town that has employment that pays more than minimum wage is two and a half hours away. Otherwise, you can get a grocery store job for, I don't know what they pay, or a Rona job, but it's minimum wage. And so, no, my time is a lot, is worth a lot more than minimum wage. Do your kids get a lot of slivers? Nope. Any specific one you like the most? Um, ashwagandha is really cool. Holy basil is another really awesome one.
food washing machine but we have no water so it's not being used very much right now there's veggies there uh the toilet the toilet bucket is behind and so we have a composting toilet okay so this is pantry Not go there. Okay, so this is my kitchen tools. All right, that's all our clothing. Uh, stuff. We got our rabbits, but they're not. That's not the boxes. That's toy, oh, toys. I don't know why. And then uh, upstairs is nothing at all. I mean, there's just there's just beds, so mm, not interesting. Let me show you. Probably a mess because kids hang out up there. But it's just mattresses. Oh my god. Look, it's just a bunch of mattresses. Sullivan, Lillian. <laughs> and that's that's fancy living. There you go. Do you have the rabbits yet? Yes. Do you attract mice? Like me personally? I'm attractive to everything. No, I don't attract mice. I've, there's never been a mouse in here. Are you getting the COVID vaccine? Nope. How do you guys stay warm? Girl, did I did you not see the wood stove? And and the wood stove? That's hot. No height. Why would you want to live basic this day and age? Well, we got one done. Oh, good. Can you help me bring it in? Yeah, I gotta bring the box in. Why would you want to live so basic? You gotta start somewhere. It's it's of our own design, and we gotta start. Okay, so I'm bringing this in. Oh. He's not ready yet. Where'd you guys get the wood stove? Um, Baker's Choice. You have to you have to go through um. A wood stove place. Do you have to buy the land you live on? Yeah. Dump! I love my dump. It's my beautiful home. Why have you chosen to live this way? Because we have to live in something. How do you guys stay warm? There we go. Alright. I'll be right back. I'll, I'll let the kids know.
Do you want toast, Peter? Is, is this on camera? Is it, it is right now, yeah. Can I have some privacy in my yes, house? Okay, Peter wants to have privacy in his home. need you go tend to them. All right. Can you explain what you're documenting? It's just our life. We're building we're building our place from well when we got here it was just like an alder forest. And then um well now this is year two of getting up. Getting into this place. Okay, okay, okay. Peter will be like, bye. Yep, Peter says bye. Okay, see ya.